finally, the long-awaited WPL B36. Don't kick the boxes, although it is WPL's standard double-walled box. Not many couriers are gonna destroy that. Anyway, as you can see there, this is the WPL Tractor, the B36 with trailer. And it all comes neatly packaged in this little box. So the actual tractor itself is all in one piece and ready to run, whereas the trailer comes in two bits and you have to connect it together yourself. A couple of little electrical connectors for it, but other than that, pretty simple to put together. Look at that, that's got some length on it. That's what she said. <laughs> You get a load of accessories in the box to put on. Get some spare leaf springs, screwdriver, your standard WPL stickers or transfers. Instructions for getting the trailer together and how it all functions. And some more stickers there. So this is the B36. This is actually one of my all-time favourite WPLs, the B36. I've done a fair few videos. Made a crazy dual motor one. I made one into a like, logging truck and took it through the forest. A very nice scale military truck. But there's something that concerns me about this one. Well, there's more than one thing. The main one is that they've switched to this, I think it's a 230 or a 260 motor and a different gearbox. I don't like it, it's underpowered. When I reviewed their ready to run C54, it's got this, I'm pretty sure that's the same motor and gearbox. And that thing just, it just struggled. It just didn't have the power. Just wish it'd have a bit more control lower down. I mean, I appreciate it's ready to run, but still, yeah, look. Now, not only have we got an extra axle to turn, it's also got this trailer and it's gonna be carrying stuff on it. So I can't imagine it's gonna be up to the job really. And the other thing I've noticed, and I've not had a B36 for a long time, that's the old style center axle. You see it goes straight through the center. One of the problems with the original B36 is it would lift that middle axle like a bit of torque twist. I don't know if it's changed because I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so this has got like a, reverse the rear counter rotates the front that might have eliminated some torque twists i'll show you what i mean <laughs> 1984 1982 so if we get my logging truck if you have a look at the center axle on that you see the drive goes into the bottom we shall see other than that pretty bog standard by the looks of it um, ladder frame chassis opening doors interior tires are the ready to run kind of well, I prefer the soft ones you get in the kit. These ones just a bit firm. So this one's the tractor unit. So it's got the fifth wheel on the back there. And I don't think there's any servo or anything on that. Plug just there. That's what the trailer plugs into, I think. Does it? I'm going to have to read the instructions. <laughs> oh, yeah, there you go. You have to connect that wire, which goes in there and in there. And I'll show you what that's for in a minute. Got some light lenses at the back there, but no lights connected. Probably got lights up front. Battery goes in there. Little 600 milliamp hour, 7.4 volt uh, lithium ion. Uh, all the electronics live under there. This is the transmitter, fully proportional. You got steering trim there. You can switch between cars. And I'm gonna tell you about that now. So this trailer is designed for the E1 tank. Call it a 1 16th scale. And it fits perfectly as you'd imagine on there. And what I really like about these, you only need one transmitter. If you remove the top from the tank, look on the electronics, there's a little tab. Or you can do it on this. The tank's just four screws, it's easier. Take the tab off, put it into the other position. And now you've got car one and car two. We switch them both on. So you can see this is currently working like that. Just something that I noticed, my um, my transmitter's sticking. If I hold that up, if I go, it's more in reverse. Look, you see it's stuck, so I have to just bring it forward. Bit tight in there, which is annoying because you have to center it again. Anyway, before we talk about controlling the two cars, how cool is this? Look, ramps down, ramps up. There's no end stop on it, so you can, if you force it, I think you could probably break it. So just be careful once it's up, stop and then down and stop again press them two together so truck tap tank tap truck tap tank tap truck tap tank <laughs> so cool anyway time to see if my theory is correct on that motor and gearbox combo and then we're going to come back probably already seen a few bits laying around including a two-speed box all metal gears in there stay tuned because this thing's going to get a little bit better so flat off-road it's not too bad, but as soon as you start pushing it and asking it for just a little bit more, it lets you down. 
like I said, just lacking that power. It's got no torque. Don't like their motors. They just never perform very well at all. And even just asking it to go over a bit of, you know, grass and stuff, it just wouldn't go, so. So yeah, not great out of the box, but let's be honest, most of us that buy WPLs don't buy them to run them stock. And the price for this and the trader is really good. So I'm gonna strip all this down. I'm gonna demilitarize it. I prefer them looking a little bit like commercial. I'm gonna use this old weathered body I've already got. We'll strip the rest down, give it a lick of paint. I'm gonna put this WPL two speed transmission in, aftermarket upgraded metal gears, and then we're gonna give this a proper run. And whatever I put on the back, it's not gonna be this tank. I'm gonna strap it down because this thing just kept falling off. Easy fit with the two-speed gearbox and it will connect straight up to the stock electronics as well. There's a space for the servo to plug into. The channel fear and transmitter is your high and low gear selector. Very easy conversion to do. Two-speed, baby. right to it. Let's start out today and have run all the colors across the screen that you need to paint along with me. And while they're doing that, come on up here and let me show you what I've already done. And let's back in here, put the indication of just a happy little bush or two that lives right here. What a difference a little bit of gearing makes. We're in low gear with this two-speed box. Not a problem at all. Uh oh, we've broken something already. I bet it's popped a drive shaft. Too much power. We need metal ones, don't we? Although that will pop back on, I think. Right, I hadn't broken it, it just popped off, so I just need to be careful. <laughs> it's certainly got the gear in and got the power for this. It's just gonna need maybe some metal wear drive shafts. I think the other issue this trailer is it sits quite low. I don't know if you can see there, so it is gonna get caught on stuff. It's still so cool though. Look how big it looks. There you go, look. Stuck on that rock. Ah, popped it again.
this thing was awesome. It's a pain that drive shaft popping off, but metal drive shafts on this, that two speed box with the 370 motor, it's so good. Loads of power and, and this looks so cool. I didn't really show you the uh, paint I did. So just done it red, done all this like rusted up, fifth wheel black there. And then I wanted to go for a bit more of a rusted look on the trailer. It's got some natural weathering now. I didn't take too much time doing it. I wanted to get it out and run. But when you want something with a bit of patina on it, you can rush it and it still turns out pretty good. Props for the little recovery as well with the TRX foot. Well, it's not a TRX foot. Well, it is a TRX foot but it's got a Furitech brushless system in and lots of trill upgrades. It did a good job of recovering that. Although I did notice just near the end that the rear wheels were locked up, it's because the drive shaft was digging in the floor, so it's trying to anchor itself. This thing still managed to drag it along. So out of the box, it was not great, but it doesn't take a lot to make these things really good. I'll leave links in the description for the truck and the trailer and also the two-speed gearbox. Cheers for watching.